Hi, I'm Chris McKay. I'm from the Upper Thames Military Reenactment Society. And today, I'm here to tell you how a musket works. In the War of 1812, most of the British infantry was issued with this, the India Pattern Musket. It had three major parts, the stock, all the wood you can see here, the barrel, and the lock. The lock is the working part of the musket, so that's what we'll look at first. The lock is what makes the musket actually fire. Here, was, here we've got a flint that will scrape across the steel and drop sparks into the pan where gunpowder is waiting. Once the powder in the pan is ignited, there's a small hole in the side of the barrel called a touch hole. So the flames will travel through the touch hole and ignite the main charge which is sitting in the barrel. Loading the musket is a complicated process. First step is pulling the musket cock back to half cock, then reach into your cartridge box and pull out a cartridge. This is a paper wrap tube with gunpowder in it. And normally of course there would be a, a lead ball at the bottom. Bite off the top of the cartridge, exposing the gunpowder and pour a little bit into the pan. Then you shut the cover to hold the priming powder in place, turn the musket upside down and pour the rest of the powder followed by the ball and then the paper down the barrel. Then you take out your ramrod, ram the whole thing, so make sure it's seated at the bottom of the barrel. Return the ramrod and you're ready to fire one shot. Pull the flint back to full cock and you're ready to fire. Now let's see all those steps together. To learn more about the Royal Scots or about reenacting, please visit our website at www.royal-scots.com.